Hello, my name is Liz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought in this uh, vlog, I'll just show you a bit of what I do besides doing um, YouTube channel, basically, and uh, trying to get that going. So I've got a couple of uh, businesses. I've got a wedding photography business, um, which is, I'm, I'm advertising um, as yet. I've only just started to, to do this uh, actively, market the business and everything. Um, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, touching wood, that 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 takes off um, in the for the foreseeable future next year, the year after, get some bookings for weddings. That would be good. Um, the other side of what I do is actually creative. Um, I do artwork. Um, I have a channel on Etsy, a channel, a shop on Etsy where I sell. Um, things that I actually have um so currently um what I'm on with I'll well I shall show you Ooh, I went a bit quick went a bit in so basically is record art so this is one that has been prepped and sanded uh ready for painting then I then go over it and put some sort of a, a base colour on it. This one's going to be a sunset once uh, I get started. Um, this is one that I've currently um, still building up. Uh, I'll quickly show you it. So this is one I'm, I'm currently, it's drying at the moment. Um, I need to go over it. Uh, a bit more before I can varnish it. This is another one that I've I've prepped. I've started painting, and this is going to be like a scene shadows wise, and then this is going to be um, the sunset. And so this is just like the the base coats as, as such, and then I will build on from this. I'm currently waiting for this one to dry. Um, I've just before I just had it as white clouds, uh, the sky and the hill, the hill as such, and then I was thinking, well, what am I going to do with it? And I came up with the idea of, sorry, that I apologise. That is my husky Venus that is talking in the background. Yes, exactly. So as I was saying, so I've changed the clouds into actual sheep, um, and so the the census is. Counting sheep, and that's the fence that they're jumping over. So then this one is the um, positive vibe affirmation uh, one. I've got four of these. They're all slightly different, and they're already uploaded. And these ones, they're actually varnished and ready to be uploaded onto the site. So I'll get them done today. So along with um, the records, I've got tote bags. Um, so if I hang that up. So these have been primed. So I've got three of them primed already to be painted on. Um, that one was like my first experiment one. Um, but then I've then got a primer and I'm going to use the acrylic paints as opposed to the pens um i don't think the pens that i got were um all that great because it uh it leaked when i put the the sealant on um so the rest of the bags they're all prepped they're all got masking tape on so it then produces this as my my printing area where well, painting sorry not printing so this, these will then be um, primed and then I will have to wait till it, it dries before I'm able to paint on them with whatever designs that I have. And so these will all be done and uploaded by the end of the week. So when I've actually primed the, the records, um, going back to those, um, I then use a fine sandpaper and I sand over um, because the, the one that I used originally was clear and but it's got like a grain in it. So I sand that off and make sure that it, 
sorry, my camera's wobbling. <laughs> Sand that off and make sure it's all smooth um, for repainting. So that's why I'm then putting on the, these base coats because then it looks better. Whereas now I've bought an actual white uh, GSO primer, so I'll, which is what's on the, the tote bags. So I'll be using them in the future um, on the records instead of the clear one because I just don't like how the clear, the clear one I thought would dry clear and it doesn't. So I don't like the way that that actually looks. So I'll uh, use the white one from now on as a as a base and then just paint um, over it as I, I've shown you in this uh, this vlog. So then once I've done that, um, I've put a clear, clear acrylic varnish over them just to protect them. And, um, and then I just upload them onto the site. Um, and so that's what I'm currently um, doing with regards to that. There is other things that I will be um, uploading and um, making and I'll, I'll do that in a, another <coughs> vlog. Uh, apologies again for the dog because she's now deciding to bark for no apparent reason whatsoever and uh, but that's what you get when you have a husky so I'm just going to give you an update I've um, just put the first coat prep on on this one um, I'm at the moment I don't know whether to leave it as it is or to tweak it because I quite like it as it is I just need to tidy up that um, line a little bit more uh, the tree hugger one I've uh, I've finished that one that just needs a, a varnish lacquer put on it I've done a couple of more preps on um, the the bag the, the tote bags to actually do so this one's a work in progress at the moment. Um, the census of this is I'll be putting a sunset in the background where it's still yellow. Obviously, I've got to finish it. And a palm tree and sort of like that. And then make this blue more as into uh, slight waves coming into uh, the shoreline. Also prep this one. I'm just waiting for this to dry a little bit better. Uh, this eventually will become a night um, scene where it's the the moon glowing in the the sky with um, trees as shadows. Um, but at the moment, I'm I'm just waiting for this coat to actually dry a little bit more before I apply more white and blend it all in. This one again is is prepped with a a base coat. Um, and the finished product of this one, it will look like one of those donuts that's um, pink. We've got like pink icing on and white icing. So that should look good when it's finished. I've got the finished um, record art. Um, they're now on my Etsy channel and so for my tote bags. I've got a couple of tote bags still to do. I've bought some new products. I've got thank you card and I've got these um, new acrylic paints to try from Colour Kingdom. And also I've decided to go to try my hand at acrylic pouring. And so I've got this big box of uh, 34 pouring acrylic paints from the Ink Lab. And they're the colours on there. So I thought I'd give these a try. And I'm going to do these on the records as well. So these are the type of colours, real vibrant colours that you get. So um, I thought I'd give these a, a try and see what they're like. Um, this is going to be a bit of a, a trial and error with me because I've never done acrylic uh, paint pouring uh, before. And also for my shop, I'm going to venture into some new products using resin. Um, so I've bought these as well just to give them a try, see how they are. And this is from Resin Glory. Um, 
all these are from I got off Amazon all three of these and then also off Amazon I got uh, the kit to venture into doing resin um, like key rings etc and um, there's the key ring tabs and so I thought I'd give those a try for my shop and see how we get on with these products um, it's a long time since I used resin I think the last time I used it I was actually at school um, so this will be a, a new thing but uh, and once done curding it etc I'll put them on my uh, Etsy shop um, to buy I'm only going to do like a few at a time just to see how things go that's what I've done with the previous things like my record wall out that I've hand painted and the tote bags um, I'm going to see how they go first before I buy into more stock of those um, but yeah I thought if I do the pouring paint and uh, the resin and see how that goes uh, as well uh, I have got some canvases coming um, which I purchased again off um, off Amazon um, to go back into doing canvas painting because I've done that before and um, so yeah just growing basically the the craft side of everything um, so yeah that that's my little update on purchases um, and I'll show you um, the final products of the the items that I've currently got um, on my Etsy store. So I've shown you these ones before. These are the affirmation um, ones that have got all kinds of things to to make you feel good about yourself. If you just you know have this hanging on the wall and just read them on a daily basis uh, when you get up, the, all of them are different. Currently got them separated with some tracing paper so that they don't stick because I was finding when I was stacking them up that uh, some were sticking to others. So the one that I showed you before when I was doing it, this is the one that was half blue if you remember. So I did uh, a half blue uh, for the sea. Um, hills, mountains, the sun with the, the sun rising and setting whichever way you want to see it in the palm tree so this was the finished product of the moon one um, so obviously like this is the moon the glow of the moon and the branches from the trees this was the sunset one I'd shown you before where I was touching up that line I did decide to leave it as it is um, I won't bother showing the the tree hugging one because uh, you've seen that a couple of these and the other ones you've seen in relation to um, the Aztec one for example and the shot through the heart one so they're all done and uploaded as I said on my Etsy so these are the designs for the tote bags that are currently on the shop. We have knots and crosses. Um, there's a couple of heart ones, one darker than the other. There's the first one that I did the prototype. And we have a LGBT one with the flag 
colors. Um, this is the moon at night, and it's sort of where the sea and the the sky meet. This was just done with leftover paint that was in the palette. So that's the new workspace. I was given this desk, which is an IKEA desk from my next door neighbours, which has got handy drawers. These sections were already in there. And uh, so I wanted another space um, for uh, working, but uh, this was too good. So I've taken on this as mine and my old desk is now the creative side of things. So if you've enjoyed this mini vlog on my crafting and what I do uh, for my Etsy channel and uh, you want to see more of uh, the crafting side or uh, my videos just click the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you take care if I don't uh, speak to you before have a great Christmas and uh, lots of love. Bye.